Hello, 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 and welcome back to Kratawa TV. If this is your first time seeing me on your screens, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Today we are continuing with the conversation on what it means to be Khoisan in post apartheid South Africa. We will do this by looking at the question, who is Khoisan? And I would like to start off by giving you um, a, a brief background on um, my explanation of who the Khoi and who the Sun people were. The Khoi, as we all remember, were herders and the sun were hunter-gatherers. And in the in their times of interacting, they came together culturally, um, formed alliances uh, genetically uh, and culturally for um, the expansion of their groups and the, the better um, the betterment of their groups. So who are the Khoi Sun? Or where does the term come from? Khoisan was a term invented by, I call him a racist, Schulze, if that's how you pronounce his surname. S-C-H-U-L-T-Z-E. It was uh, invented by Schulze, uh, an anthropologist, in the late 1920s. He was of the contention that these groups of people can be, or Khoi and Sun people, can be grouped into one category because, or they can be amalgamated as one group of people because they shared similarities in lifestyle, cultural practices, and had similar phenotypical um, appearances. Uh, that was the most important part of um, categorizing them as one group of people. And this is a reflection of the, the, the race or the racial theories in, in the 1920s or of the 1920s. This renaming, I believe, is what initially stripped Khoi and Sun people of their identity. Not to say that them coming together did not make them Khoi Sun or um, a new group of people that had new practices. Um, what I mean by this is they were initially stripped of their identities or their names because Khoi or Kukun, as it was uh, known, meant man of man and the Khoi were the, the ones to give the names to the Sun people. So in all of this, the Sun people never really named themselves. So there is a stripping away of identity by just renaming people. And I am aware that scholars out there um, are of the contention that this should not continue into a modern South Africa, that we should um, make away with the label Khoisan. But I do believe that there is power in reappropriating labels. If you reappropriate a label, you can give it a new meaning. And this is what I will be doing, or this is what Khoisan people have done, um, or those that um, affiliate themselves with the First Nation or the First Peoples Debate, and those that reclassify or classify themselves as Khoisan. I believe that the term Khoisan or the notion of Khoisan is better um, because it blends Khoi and Sun people as one tribe. Um, and this is not to say that this is a true reflection or a nuanced reflection of the history or of the origins of the Khoi and Sun people, but it does blend them as one group of people. So now the question still stands, who can call themselves Khoisan? I believe that people of color in South Africa can classify as Khoisan because um, we all have our roots in the Khoi and in the Sun um, family line or in the Khoi and Sun cultural history or um, genealogy, genealogy, sorry for that um, mispronunciation there. I say so because I believe we must not forget the contact that the Khoi and the Sun people had with the settlers. These contexts uh, may be from war, the enslavement of our people, or um, basically just these hunter gatherer, these hunter trophies that they, um, they took our people as, the settlers took our people as. So, let me reiterate, 
or give a different uh, scenario or explanation as to why I believe people of color in South Africa can claim Khoisan identity. Let's not forget the rapes that took place um, with the landing of Van Riebeck and company because they were without women here so they raped our mothers and sisters and with that came a new line of or new group of people and the settlers, uh, the rapists felt so bad um, for their offspring and they wanted their offspring to be a little better than um, the current, the natives so they gave them this new um, new label and recategorized them so with this they created the term or the notion of colored so the colored people were a little better than the natives but not good enough to be white so and and this is where you'll find um works such as uh muhammad adhikari's um not black enough not white enough so there's this group of people that um, are in the middle and don't necessarily belong to either of these groupings uh, so this is uh, so I believe some colored people can claim the the, the, the notion of um, Khoisan I also believe uh, all colored people actually can claim to be Khoisan but then they must be cognizant of the fact that um, it has to be with people of color from southern Africa or Africa, the African continent. I also believe that black people can claim the label of, of Khoisan because um, of what I have previously explained, them coming from the, the Khoi tribes or the Khoi nations. Um, I also believe that, or oh basically, yeah, I, I'll just say that people of color from South Africa they have every right to claim the Khoisan label and Khoisan identity. Next week, or in the next video, I will talk to you about why I believe white people can't claim the label Khoisan or why they, I don't consider them as Africans. Thank you.